What's up guys, welcome back to Struggle, back to another video. And in today's video, we are working on the daily. This is something that I'm really passionate about, is making the best daily that I could possibly make on this YouTube channel. Now, for some reason, building a cheaper car and making it look way better is way more satisfying than buying a super nice car and making it look a tiny bit better because it's already very beautiful. I mean, the transformation on this 328 guy is gonna be absolutely insane. You guys saw in the last video, we got the whole water drainage thing situated. So thankfully the carpets are no longer getting soaked, which means it's time to get a whole new carpet in there. Brand new front carpets, brand new rear carpets. I don't know if the M3 carpets are any different, but I figured since we're going with the whole M3 interior, I don't know if you guys heard also in the last video, I wanna get M3 seats, M3 door panels, M3 center console, M3 steering wheel, M3 trim, M3 literally everything and slap it in this 328. I think it's gonna be absolutely insane and do not worry, the outside's not gonna be all M3. The outside's probably gonna be like M Sport or something like that because M Sports, awesome. But before we actually go ahead and go get all those parts, um, we actually have some packages we have to mail out. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually releasing some new products on my website. Link's gonna be the first link down below. And so many of you guys have been asking me, Nor, how do you retrofit paddles into your E90? Like, I don't have any paddles, I have the ugly steering wheel. Like, how do I do this, how do I do that? And I'm like, um, my friend does it. And I, I've been saying for the last four years, my friend knows how to do everything, but I don't know, I don't know. And I never really mind to ask them because I was good, but you guys weren't good. You guys have been wondering how I'm doing it. A lot of you guys have been asking me since the E92 M3 when I had the non iDrive converted to the iDrive you guys were like Nor, how did you actually retrofit the the whole dashboard put the navigation in there it looks so awesome I'm like and I'm like yeah um actually the harness was made by a friend no one really sells it so um at least it was a good video though. So I decided, end of the day, we all wanna do those amazing retrofits. Not just me, a lot of you guys wanna do those amazing retrofits. So I've already released the non-iDrive to iDrive conversion harness. Um, so this harness is complete plug and play. I have a video on my second channel. Um, the link and everything is in the description of the item on my website. So if you guys wanna check it out, if you guys have a non-iDrive, like a single hump on your car and want an iDrive so you can eventually add Apple CarPlay and backup camera and all the good stuff, you guys are gonna need this harness to to make it all work. That being said, we already got a couple orders right there and I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get these mailed out. But I'm also gonna be releasing a paddle shift harness, a complete plug and play paddle shift harness um, because I don't think anyone has a complete paddle shift. I mean, they have like to where you have to go buy a couple things and then you buy the harness. But I don't think anybody, like I know five different companies that you have to do it like that, but I don't think anybody has released one that's literally just the harness and then you put in paddles and you're good to go. So that's what I'm gonna be creating on the website pretty soon now and I am gonna be taking pre-orders on the website links gonna be down below but without further ado let's go ahead and get these out and get that m3 full interior that dream interior into our daily I think with gas prices having a beautiful interior and driving a super fuel efficient car is gonna be pretty awesome making my way downtown traveling fast don't know what is going on and guys, the harness is on the website, so you guys are gonna be able to downshift and upshift, do everything you guys want with these paddles. And if you actually have the DCT paddles, you can retrofit those into your E90 as well. I haven't really figured it out for the pre -LC I mean, not the LCI ones, but for the pre-LCI downshift, upshift, we're gonna have a harness pre-orders down below. And then for the DCT paddle retrofit, the ones from the M3, um, which we're gonna be doing on this car, uh, yeah, that harness is gonna be linked down below. So for those of you guys who don't have paddles equipped in your car right now, you guys are gonna be able to install it with a simple plug and play kit. Now we are actually doing pre-orders on the paddle shifting conversions, but the actual DIY and how to install it, that's gonna have to be released in probably a couple of days and possibly a week. Um, so probably when does the harnesses actually go out, if you guys actually keep track on the website, website itself is gonna have an updated link on a video on how to install it so do not worry by the time you guys's orders get shipped out there will be a video and a full DIY on how to install this harness and if there isn't a video for any reason I will be sending you guys refunds so uh, it's a win-win so yeah just in case I haven't mentioned it guys I'm going to Nick's shop right now BMA European and uh, yes they actually have a M3 E93 you've been parting out for the longest time now I actually got a lot of parts off of that car for this car we haven't installed yet um, but I actually got some E92 M3 parts um, from another M3 car from Auto Gator. So that being said, um, we do have pretty much everything we need, but the carpets are in horrendous condition. And I don't really want to start on this transformation until we get the new carpet. So that's what we're doing. BMA 
here up here. We have the E93 M3 just chilling like a villain right here. They actually got a lot of good parts on this, like that hood over there, a bunch of the interior stuff, a full M3 interior, um, door panels, individual sound system, rear bumper, um, engine transmission. So if you guys need any M3 parts, hit up BMA European. Um, and again, they have like a bunch of uh, M car part outs and stuff like that. Actually, you have a perfect, literally, um, F10 M5 right here. It is sitting next to my dream car, which is the Audi R8 V10. I believe this is the 2021 absolute gorgeous car. We're gonna be definitely rebuilding one of these by the end of 2022. That is my goal. Guys, we have to get this. I'm making it my goal. And in toast to that, we're actually gonna be doing a 30-day upload streak. Yes, you guys heard me. I need to hold myself accountable for something new, which is a goal to upload 30 days in a row. I did one of these last year, which is 30 days in a row, and I, I, I got burnt out by the end of it, but it was really, really, really fun, and it was definitely a goal that I was happy to achieve, and we might even go further than that if we can. So yes, guys, today marks the first video of 30 videos in a row, but in the meantime, for this video, for the first part of the 30 days, um, let's get some parts from this E93 M3 for our 328. I think we're going a little overkill on the 328, but hey, for those of you guys who have a 328, I'm going to show you guys everything you can do to it in the interior-wise to make it absolutely insane. So for those of you guys who are thinking about upgrading but love the fuel efficiency, um, think again. In the interior, guys, these carpets are actually in really good shape. I don't think there's anything special for uh, for M3 carpets and non-M3 carpets, um, but these ones are in really good shape. No water in them, anything like that. So our goal is to remove all the seats, the whole interior, the center console and everything, pull out these carpets so we can take it back home and install it into our 328. And then uh, I actually got a new interior for that bad boy as well. So exciting stuff to come. First things first, let's go ahead and get that driver's seat out. Guys, I think this interior is a buttload heavier than a regular E92 interior. I think it's because of all these airbag stuff inside the seat. But uh, anyway, one seat out. I pretty much already got the seat out a long time ago, so it's trying to get the seat buckle out of it, but they're different on the E93s. Um, anywho, yeah, again, one seat out. Uh, uh, technically, the rear and one to go, so three people can sit in the rear, so four more seats to go. So we did end up removing everything we needed to to remove the rear carpets. The rear carpets are out, and again, they're in really, really, really good shape. I'm super happy about these. Um, these actually will clean up really, really, really nice. Now, as far as the front carpets, um, I'm gonna have to remove the little pans that are underneath the dashboard and those little side plastic pieces just so I can get a good enough cut back there to remove that as well. Um, the only way to properly do this without actually doing any cuts is by literally removing the dashboard, and I'm not gonna remove the dashboard on my car. I might do it on this car, but I'm not doing it on my car, so we're just gonna go to do some cuts behind the dash to where it's like you can't even tell you'll never be able to tell so that's how we're gonna go ahead and do it but yeah guys uh almost there getting out the full carpets in this thing and again if any of you guys want the interior i'm pulling it all out and i'm stacking it all over here it has an individual sound system i'm taking out i'm taking out all the interior um it has the extended armrest which is super nice it pops out like that um i drive controller nice shifter nice trim nothing really beats m leather this thing feels so nice these are e93 seats 
So it's not gonna fit my E92, but I already got, I already got some sick E92 M3 seats. And uh, do not worry, it's not red, because I've been doing a lot of red and I love red, but I think it's time to change it up a little bit. I actually listened to one of you guys, one of you guys DM me and you're like, Nor, enough red, red is awesome, but you need to change up the interior. Like with the 435, we did Silverstone White, which was beautiful. And I was literally thinking about buying these red guts for a 435 or a 440i or even possibly an M4 swap. But I was like, you know what, maybe I should change it up, try some new colors. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't wanna blow the color that I got. I think the M3 comes in like five different colors or six different colors, so um, it's not red. So that narrows it down a little bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get to these front carpets. And just like that, guys, we completely stripped this E93. <laughs> I didn't take off the door panels yet because honestly, there was no need for it. But when they end up selling the interior, it will come with the door panels. So if you guys want this entire interior, we got the carpets loaded up. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys home. Now, before actually getting home and installing the carpets, got my boy and uh, myself some burritos. I mean, it's, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. Just like that, guys, we're officially back home. We got the brand new carpets and we got the car with the, the terrible carpet. So let's go ahead and get the car inside the garage and just start removing moving that nasty carpet. All right guys, so we got the carpets right there, car in the garage. The goal is to actually remove all the interior, like literally everything, the center console, the door panels, rear door panels, rear seats, front seats, all the carpets, all the trim pieces, literally everything completely stripped this car. It's gonna be literally fully stripped. So hopefully, hopefully, in tomorrow's video, we're gonna be fully assembling an M3 interior. And I do have the M3 interior. I'm still waiting to get the uh, the actual trim on the dash, the full, you know, the full trim. I'm trying to get all these little pieces as well to perfect the center area, trying to get a new center, um, center trim trying to also get a new steering wheel and new paddle so all that's gonna be kind of a mission my guys but part of the everyday grind is to try to get all of this done hopefully in one week but um yeah like I said first things first let's go ahead and just take out these driver passenger seats and start stripping this interior And just like that, guys, we got all that corroded. Like, it, it was such a hard texture. Some of you guys said I can repair this carpet. Honestly, guys, it was the worst feeling carpet of my life. It was like, I've never seen carpet that, that felt that bad and had a lot of color distortion over there, like as if the black paint faded off of it. So yeah, here's how it's looking right now. Honestly, this side does not look wet whatsoever. Um, So the driver's side seems to be pretty good. And I can honestly tell that these carpets, at least the front ones were cut because I didn't have to do any cutting. It was already cut, the two front carpets. So the two front carpets were already 
replaced and then it got flooded again that seems like an absolute nightmare thankfully it was a pretty easy fix by literally just getting to the drain ports right down there if you guys missed that video and are having this issue make sure to check out my first video of when i actually got this car but yeah if you guys come around to this side we do have like a little bit of an issue there um, I might actually just sand this area down real quick and just paint it over with a black spray can. Um, and then honestly, all this stuff, it's really, actually really not much water left. I mean, that's, that's pretty dry to me, honestly. And there's no like piles of water, which is a huge, huge, huge good sign. Uh, a little bit down here. I might actually wipe that. But after I actually get all this stuff wiped, I'm actually going to do the water test up there. And if you're wondering where I'm pouring the water, I'm pouring it right in here. So right in here, the water is supposed to go in there and down here and basically it's supposed to exit back there in the front and if it does that that means you're pretty much good so i'm gonna go ahead and do that test as soon as you wipe all this down just to see if any new water is showing up and if there isn't any new water that is a huge 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 plus we should actually we should actually see the water on the ground but anyways this is the before i'm gonna go ahead and dry it off with a rag sand that down paint it with a black spray can um so yeah before and and about 15 minutes later i dried up that portion i dried up this portion and i went ahead and sanded this pretty lightly and then spray Spray painted over it's still not dry yet so i'm actually gonna let this sit for a bit but in the meantime i also put some water right through here and right through there on both sides so let's go ahead and see the water actually should be over here yep as you guys can see water did end up coming out of the car out of the drain port right back here and then for the front as you guys can see it did leak through the front as well which is a super good sign now as for the other side uh yep water right there and water right over actually is that where it's supposed to i don't know i guess on this side over here so to my calculations <laughs> that is pretty good now as soon as that paint dries up i'm actually going to throw in all the floor mats and then once all the floor mats are in there before actually putting in anything else um, I might actually just start detailing these carpets. I might actually vacuum up really, really, really good. Uh, put some of that carpet cleaner on there, make this nice, beautiful carpet lines. And then probably put together all the, tr the trim pieces at least to pretty much fully assemble it and getting it ready for the new interior. For those of you guys who are interested in my stock black interior, honestly, it is a full sports interior. It's in not in terribly bad shape. The only bad part is right here, the driver's bolster right here. I don't know if it's the bolster or like the thing that comes out in and out. So that actually shows some wear, but honestly, the leather is pretty good. Comes with all the door panels and the trim pieces for the door panels. If you guys want it, I'll probably let it go for like 200 bucks or something locally. So if anyone wants sport black interior with door cards and uh, the center console, hit me up, 200 bucks, get the whole thing. I think it's a pretty dang good deal. Guys, after a couple hours later, we have all the carpets back in there. So a couple things I noticed with this carpet is that this is E93 carpet. It is actually slightly different um, than the E92. First off, there's this huge cutout. Um, I actually made a little mistake there, made an extra cut over here um, because I needed to figure out a way to cut that and I need to figure out a way to cut this because the E93, the seatbelt's actually on the seat. It doesn't actually have any holes in the carpet itself. So I pretty much had to cut into the carpet and I made this work on both sides. And then um, yeah, over here, I had to just cut over here. As far as the speaker grill, the speaker grill is smaller for the E92. So it does actually have the screw holes on the speaker. So I just need to get a bigger um, uh, one of these. I probably gonna end up getting it from Nick 
6M3, the one I got the carpets from. So I'm gonna probably go get that tomorrow to make sure uh, my, my speaker is completely covered and nothing actually damages it. That subwoofer actually is damaged. This one's still good. So I wanna make sure this one stays good. As far as the carpets, guys, uh, I still need a dead pedal there. Everything is reattached over there. I actually removed this guy right here. Um, I'm actually even putting up on my website. I have a section on my website that I sell used mods. Um, things I don't really need. This is a burger tuning uh, pedal, st uh, like I think it's like a pedal accelerator. Um, this will, I think basically what this does is that you can adjust your throttle response. I think that's what it is. Um, this works pretty much on N52, N54, anything at all. I actually want this as a daily, so I don't want any power to this car. I want it to be as dailyable as possible, so I'm not gonna be using this. But again, if you guys want this, it's gonna be linked down below on my website. I'm selling used mods, used car parts. Again, harnesses, decals, uh, air fresheners, anything you guys want, link's gonna be down below. Now, as far as the door panel, we got the door panel off, and uh, this car actually didn't come equipped with tweeters right here, which is actually kind of a joke. I can't believe it does actually come with tweeters. So I'm actually gonna rip this off real quick. We do not want this. I actually ordered ones with tweeters, and uh, it's direct plug and play. We're gonna put it right back on here with the one with the speaker, and then you're gonna plug it directly into the speaker right here. We don't have to do any custom wiring coding or anything. It's literally an easy swap. It's probably gonna be the next video when I actually put the interior in here. <laughs> but for now, we did take this off because I don't need this. But before actually vacuuming, let's go ahead and get the other door panel so we have the entire interior out of this car. time to vacuum this is the before let's go ahead and clean this up as much as we can mind you guys I'm not a detailer Guys, check out these results. So this carpet's all cleaned up, vacuumed up. Same goes for the back as well. I figured while I was here, I might as well clean this carpet. Oh my God, it smells so good in here, guys. <laughs> this looks so good, dude. So now we have literally all the carpets in there ready to go. We have the door cards all off of there. Um, we're pretty much just ready for the interior, guys. So as for the interior, we're gonna be doing it in the next video. So it is kind of like a part two, but at the same time, it's, it's a part one. I mean, not really, because think about it. In this video, we got rid of the nasty carpets. We pulled these carpets from an M3, completely stripped it up to get these carpets, and we actually got these carpets in our car. So I think it's a pretty productive day, but um, as for the next video, hopefully gonna be installing the full interior in this thing and like trying to clean it up as much as possible. I think it's gonna look so, so, so good. Might be a little overkill, but uh, I'm gonna be happy, so that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, guys, that's gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys are excited to see what color choice I went with, actually, guess what color choice I went with. It's not red, like I said earlier, it's something other than red, which gives you guys five other uh, possibilities. So guess it down below, but without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.